What's up guys? My name is Ashley Horner. I am very excited to announce that my online subscription model has officially released and you can sign up with Horner Training. You can train with me every single day and guess what? I get to be your trainer and I get to royally kick your ass. Let's go. Today, I'm gonna take you through week one, day one of the Horner Training subscription model. So I'm excited to get into this today. I'm excited to show you a little bit of what it's about. Um, we're gonna start with a heavy five by five deadlifts with burpees over barbell. So we're gonna lift really heavy and then we're gonna get our heart rate up with um, some burpees over the barbell. And this is how week one, day one is gonna start. Horner Training, let's go. All right, I just finished my first working set of five reps of deadlifts. And now we're gonna go right into our burpee over barbell. We're gonna do 10 burpees over the barbell. It's gonna look like this. All right. Take a deep breath. Let that heart rate come down just a little bit. Center yourself once again. Remember, more than anything, form is crucial here. It's not about speed. It's not about who can finish first. It's about slowing down, having great body mechanics, and initiating and executing every single lift perfectly. Let's go. All right, going into our next circuit, we are doing three sets, dumbbell walking lunges for 10 reps, single leg deadlifts for 10 reps, goblet squats for 15 reps, wall balls for 10 reps. So three sets of that. I want you to work at a pretty aggressive pace. However, if you have to take a break, if you have to rest at any point, do that but we want to keep that heart rate up but most importantly we want to keep our form perfect so if that means you have to slow down a little bit if you have to drop your weight down just a little bit take the time to do that take the time to slow your breathing down recenter yourself focus again and get right back into it all right so three sets dumbbell walking lunges single leg deadlifts goblet squats and wall balls All right, we just finished our first set of dumbbell walking lunges, 12 on each side. Now we're gonna go into 10 single leg dumbbell deadlifts, 10 on each side. More than anything, balance and control is so important here. So if you have to go to a lighter weight, drop down to a lighter weight. I want you to push yourself. I want you to pick up a heavy weight, but the moment you become off balance, the moment your form starts to like not be 100%, it's okay. Like drop the ego and pick up a lighter weight. So you'll notice one side is going to be a lot more cooperative and manageable than the other side. I have to go a lot slower on my left side than my right. It's a imbalance and it is completely normal. 
Every single person has these. So why I love splitting the plane and working right side, left side is because it gives you an opportunity to really find where some of your weaknesses are. So then you know you can focus on that. Grab that kettlebell. I hold mine upside down. If you don't have a kettlebell, you can use a dumbbell just fine. So your feet positioning is gonna be wider than shoulder width apart. And you're gonna sit nice and deep. And I always like my elbows to touch the tops of my knees. Go ahead and come up. All right, we're gonna do 15 of these. Remember, keep your head up, chest up, core nice and tight. And you're gonna be seated back in your heels. Three more. One, two, three. Awesome. All right. Last but not least, we're gonna go right into our wall balls. My heart rate is high, but again, it is manageable. I don't need to take a break. I'm gonna go right into the wall balls. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be doing 10 wall balls. Notice, as the ball is coming down, I am catching it in the squat position. Three more. One, two, three. Awesome. Back to the top. a little bit. Take a deep breath. All right. 10 on each side. If these are easier for you, you can actually bring your knee all the way up and forward. So it never, the left leg never touches the ground. If you find that these are challenging, go back, bring it here. Rebalance, reset. Down, rebalance, reset. Bring that knee forward if I can. I'm balanced and back. All right, goblet squats. 15 goblet squats. I also hold this dumbbell, kettlebell. I keep it close and tight to my chest. our wall balls. Round three. Hang with me. Let's do it. Right now, you might be thinking two is enough. I did two, actually it's fine. Let me tell you something. It's not enough because if you're going to surrender to that thought in your mind, then you shouldn't have even started today. 
because what we are about here at Horner Training is we are making ourselves better every single day. And yes, it's going to suck. You're going to struggle, but you know what? It's in those moments when you suck, it's in those moments when you struggle, this is when you become stronger, you become smarter, and you become more mentally prepared for whatever life is going to bring your way because believe me, it will happen. It is coming. Are you gonna be ready? Thank you for going through day one, week one of Horner training with me. I, I hope you feel it because I sure do. And if you don't, that means you weren't pushing yourself hard enough today. So check in with yourself. Thank you for joining me today. Make sure you click in the, the link in the bio, subscribe to Horner training. I am very excited to go on this journey with you. Peace.